What we need to do is come together and create an alternative vision. of what used to be the free world have something we do not, a vision. This vision allows them to justify manufacturing this current darkness. They call it the end justifying the means. And they are so committed to reaching their new dawn that they are determined to switch off our liberty. Some of our brothers and sisters who we claim are asleep are not only awake to this, but they are now purposely complying in order that when they reach this new dawn, they hope the loyalty to these leaders will be rewarded. But many are just lost. And then there is us, then there is you. These small groups of resistance fighters all around the country reacting to their meanness. But the question that has been intriguing me is what connects us. Now I know. We, unite, we are united by the values that they are sacrificing to their vision. Decency, honesty, empathy, and courage. Or to use another word, humanity. And our stubborn grip on our humanity is the best hope for everyone. But while hope can be an engine for defiance, it will not be enough. Page two. What we need to do is come together and create an alternative vision. And we have all the values to create a light that the majority of people would love to live in. We just have to see it in our heads and in our souls, and then once we have it, we have to market it. Think of it like switching on a powerful human light in their dark. At the moment, all of you are determined candles flickering in the winds of change. But this communal vision, that will be our greatest weapon. One so powerful, it will even override our greatest weakness, which is the ego of some of our leaders. It will be a weapon so bright that to our brothers and sisters who are lost in their dark, we will be the new dawn. We will be the architects of the world they want to live in. But for now, our country, even our world, and those souls out there yet to be born need you to do two things. One, through simply talking, debating, protesting, arguing, help us clarify this vision. For once we can see it, history proves that we will reach it for our souls, like more every moth that was ever lost in the dark, yearn for freedom. And two, and this is going to be tough, but I need you to promise me, to promise all of us, that no matter how hard, and how cold and how dark it gets, you will try your best to never stop being what our future needs, what our kid needs, and that's to be you, 
to be yourselves. For not only are you a light in this darkness, but you, each of you, is what our world needs. And that is a defiant beacon of hope. I love you all. Suck that, Andrews! Suck that, Andrews! Thanks, Billy. All right, guys, we're going to keep marching, so let's keep it going. Do we want to do we want to do a chant for them all? They can hear us. Wake up, Melbourne! Wake up, Melbourne! Wake up, Melbourne! Open your eyes! Open your eyes! The government lies! The government lies! The media lies! The media lies! The jam's not safe! The jam's not safe! The jam's not a vaccine! Let's keep it going guys.